All right, Pokemon Wi-Fi battle people, we need to have us a serious talk here. Before this video continues, this is not me announcing that I'm quitting Wi-Fi battles or any of that shit, so don't even... So please don't comment that in the comments because you're going to get shitted on if you do. I mean, just being honest, because that never was announced. I never said I was not going to do Wi-Fi battles, so I don't want that to go even go there, okay? I'm just putting that out there right now. Recently, I've been seeing people go to my other videos who are Pokemon fans and complain about there not being any Wi-Fi battles on the channel since I haven't really uploaded a Wi-Fi battle in quite a long time. And your frustration is, under is your frustration is understandable considering that, you know, I probably did pull you with the Wi-Fi battles and suddenly I'm not doing them. And, you know, I've said in individual responses to comments through my videos over the months that the Wi-Fi battles are coming, they're still being prepared, you know, to be patient with me, but I haven't really made a video addressing it per se, so this is going to be my attempt at that, so that all of you get the message at the same time. I'm just giving you a little bit of context, Pokemon is the most cared about content on my channel, period, and some of you might be saying, how is that even fucking possible when you don't post it? It is. And believe me when I say that, simply because it is what I want to put the most effort into, period. Now, some of you may remember that when I was doing my Wi-Fi battles, I took a lot of pride and confidence in making sure that they were in the best possible definition, the best possible presentation for YouTube in general. And here I can see some of the Poketubers that are probably going to watch this video saying, oh, there goes Etika again, thinking that he's better than everyone else. Oh boy, he's such an elitist. Oh man, he acts like he has the best videos in the world. Oh, this guy Etika, what a dickhead. That's not the fucking intention. I'm doing this because I like it. I've always liked emulating high quality cinema effects. I've always liked, present I've always liked presenting my videos in the best quality possible. I just wanted to do it with Pokemon. Now, some of you may just witness that as being better or elitist but I witness it as just doing what the hell I want to do and having fun while doing it and making something that I would watch myself so that's where that starts so please I don't want to see any comments from any Poketubers or any YouTube or anybody on YouTube in general saying that I'm trying to be better than everyone else because I'm not I'm just doing things the way I want to do is that a problem it's my YouTube channel after all is, is that a problem is it a problem I'm doing it the way I want because it doesn't fit the mold of some people out there. Some people want to get mad. No, no, no. I'm just doing what I want, all right? It's not a matter of me trying to outdo anybody. I'm just doing what I like. And I mean, that, that's the way it is at the end of the day. You may think it's something deeper than that. It's not. People just like it. Anyways, I went off topic. I put a lot of quality and effort into my Pokemon Battle videos. Now, some of you may be saying, well, what the hell could you have been doing possibly for almost six months to where the delay happened to that extent? I know it's painful, I know it is, but trust me when I say that it's going to be worth the wait. But what I can't stand is when people are going to these other videos and posting about it and complaining. Because at the end of the day, that's not going to help it happen faster. And you're not making me more alert to the issue than I am at the moment. I know that I haven't been posting battles, and I never said that I wouldn't be posting battles. So just for the record, the battles are coming extremely soon. I just need you to be a bit more patient with me because I'm planning on doing these battles in an amazing way. Like, I want to make it so that they are redone in a way that I would be impressed. And I kind of have high standards for the stuff that I post. So you all have to bear with me. And if you don't want to bear with me, all I can tell you right now is that the Wi-Fi battles are coming. Please do not complain on other videos. Please be a little bit more patient with me. But if that's not enough for you, if that isn't enough for you right now, me telling you that they're coming very soon, then please unsubscribe, please. Because I don't, I don't want people to be upset running to other videos and complaining about them. I mean, sure, I do care about all my subscribers, but I care about you to the point where I don't want you to stay here being miserable and upset every time you see me post a fucking Attack on Titan video or a Minecraft video. I don't want you to sit there and see that I posted Attack on Titan or see that I posted Minecraft and be like, Annika, where the fuck's the Pokemon? I'm so angry. I don't want you to be angry like that. I don't want frustration to fester like that. So I, if, you, if, you, if unsubscribing will be what helps you the most, then go ahead. But if you are willing to be more patient and to just wait a little bit longer until I post these battles, then please do. They're coming very soon. I care about Pokemon more than anything else on this channel. I want to put the most effort into Pokemon humanly possible. I'm serious. You guys may not see everything that's done in the background, but I have done so much so far to make these Wi-Fi battles the most engaging, interactive, different experience possible. I want to give something totally, like, totally unique. I just want to do something totally out of the box. That's always been the way I have been with these things. It's always the way I kind of want to aim to be, you know? And the last thing I want to do 
is become stagnant. I don't want to become one of those YouTubers that just falls behind or kind of like doesn't adapt or just like sort of falls to the wayside or into obscurity. I want to remain relevant. I want to remain engaging. I want to remain constant. I want to remain a force. You know what I mean? And in order to do that, I had to do a lot of preparation. And considering the 6th gen mechanics and, you know, the whole Poké Gen thing not being done, and considering a lot of other things too, like my whole revamp change, and then considering that I want to come up with new graphics and logos and intros and stuff, which I already have kind of done to an extent, which is only going to be a little bit more time, I am really putting a lot of effort into this Pokemon stuff for you. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, you know, you're not doing it good enough. At the end of the day, I'm making this content for you. Like, it's not that I'm trying to piss you off. I'm making these videos for you. I'm putting all this effort in there for you. And sure, I may get paid for it for a little bit from the side, but you know, the payment is also just another incentive. Just like you guys watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and rating is also an incentive. So, don't look at it as Etika is bullshitting you. Look at it as Etika is taking his time to ensure the most dynamic experience possible. Like, I'm doing stuff for the Wi-Fi battle stuff that I don't even want to reveal until it comes out because I know it'll be that much of a hit where you guys will be like, holy shit, he blew things up. And I want it to be like that. I really, really, really do. And I learned from a lot of experience that first time impressions are the best impressions, the most long-lasting impressions, and I want to make sure that when I start posting X and Y content very soon, it's going to leave an impression, a serious impression on the viewer. Uh, I want that first battle that I post to be a boom, 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 to hit the damn YouTube community real hard. Now, I'm talking about it like my video is going to be all over YouTube. It's not, but I want it to be a very dynamic experience, and I want you guys to remember it. And once I start posting the Wi-Fi battles, it's not going to take me six months to post another one. I'm doing the formatting. I basically have a template that I'm fitting in for everything that's involved with the Wi-Fi battles, and it's going to be crazy, you know? Like, you guys shouldn't be doubting me. You know I put work in with the Wi-Fi battles, man. I go outside and bring you goddamn 24 frames a second, Super HD, 9, 920 by 1080, goddamn outside picture-in-picture -picture narrations, you know? I mean, I, I do my best for you guys. I do. I literally do. And, you know... I just want to make this an experience for everybody because, you know, I want to have guest narrators host my Wi-Fi battles, you know? I mean, they don't have to do a picture-in-picture -picture necessarily, but there's a lot of guest narrators that I want to host my battles as well because I think they're awesome narrators. And, you know, I mean, it's just... It's just kind of a setup process, you know? Like some of them, Eon Blitz, Necro Stevo, love those two. I really want them to host battles for me. And other people too, you know? Like it's, it's, it's just a general thing. And I apologize if I'm fucking pissing you off right now, but... All the, the point of this, please do not go complaining to my other videos that I'm not posting Pokemon battles. They're coming so soon. Just be a little bit more patient with me. I'll give you a date right now. The latest, you guys might hate slash love me for this, the latest that the Wi-Fi battles will start being posted, the second week in February. The second week in February is the latest that a battle, the battles will start coming, okay? So they're coming, all right? Just be more patient with me, please, trust me. And if this isn't doing it for you, please unsubscribe. I'll probably win you back anyways once I make the video, so it's no big deal. I mean, I care about you as a subscriber, but if you want to leave right now, you're more than free to if it's going to help you to not be as frustrated with me, and you'll just be able to come back once I start posting the Pokemon Battle stuff. No problem, but trust me, it's coming. And I'm going to be doing a lot of preview stuff, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff with Pokemon Battle stuff as well. I'm playing on Showdown as we speak. Learning the, I've been playing on Showdown for a month now, learning the metagame. I have never used Pokemon Showdown before. I'm using it right now, and I'm learning the metagame better than I ever have before. It's actually pretty fucking amazing. I'm surprised I haven't gotten on Showdown before. And no, I don't take requests of battling on Showdown, because I know I'm going to get swamped. This is just for me honing my skills as much as I can, considering the hacks in the game, you know what I mean? But anyways, I hope this video helped to sort of alleviate some of you guys concerns about the Pokemon Wi-Fi battles they are going to be here very soon and they're going to be worth that wait I will make sure that I make up for all that time that you guys spent being patient with your boy and being understanding with your boy because you you got to be one of the most understanding audiences on YouTube I don't know anyone else that would be able to do something like this and still have people supporting them you know so thank you and I will make it worth your goddamn while trust me on that one trust me